Hi, it is Friday morning, 6th of September. This channel is Drips Media, and I will be covering financial news from New York stock exchanges before markets open. The regular trading for the U.S. stock market opens at 9.30 a.m. My name is Daniela Drips. I will be quickly covering yesterday's closing data, main indexes, and the key companies. Please follow us online. Good morning. This is Drips Media, lit from New York. Drips Media, the revolutionary digital service that transforms the way you stay informed. With Drips Media, you get real-time news delivered in dynamic short video clips, keeping you updated on the latest headlines as they happen. Our cutting-edge technology curates and condenses top stories. Whether you're on the go or just need a quick update, Drips News ensures you're always in the know, effortlessly. Stay connected, stay informed, and experience news like never before with Drips News. Turning our attention to the broader market, the SP500 couldn't hold on to its early gains, ultimately closing at 5,503.4, marking a 0.3% dip. This makes it three consecutive days of losses for the index, signaling a potential shift in momentum. Meanwhile, the tech-heavy Nasdaq showed resilience, closing in positive territory at 17,127.7. This represents a 0.3% gain, reversing the downward trend of the previous two days. The Nasdaq's performance suggests that investors might be finding value in the tech sector despite the recent volatility. Now, let's delve into how some of the tech giants performed yesterday. Apple saw its stock price close at $222.40, a 0.7% increase, effectively reversing a three-day losing streak. This suggests investors are regaining confidence in the tech giant. Google also had a positive day, with its shares closing at $157.20, a 0.5% gain. This marks a turnaround from the previous two days of losses, indicating potential renewed interest in the company. However, not all tech giants enjoyed the same positive sentiment. Microsoft's stock price closed at $408.40, a slight dip of 0.1%. This marks the third consecutive day of losses for the tech giant, raising questions about whether this is a temporary blip or a sign of deeper concerns. Amazon, on the other hand, saw its stock price close at $145.50, a 1.2% decline. This extends the e-commerce giant's losing streak to four consecutive days, with its five-day performance showing a decline of 2.5%. The recent performance might be raising concerns among investors about the company's future prospects. Shifting focus to Tesla, the electric vehicle maker closed at $251.90, a significant drop of 2.1%. This marks the fourth consecutive day of losses for Tesla, pushing its month-to-date losses to a significant 6.7%. The recent performance performance suggests that investors might be concerned about the company's ability to meet its ambitious growth targets. Looking at the data, it's clear that while the tech sector showed some resilience yesterday, individual company performance was mixed, while some tech giants like Apple and Google managed to reverse their losing streaks, others like Microsoft, Amazon, and Tesla continued to face downward pressure. This mixed performance underscores the ongoing volatility in the tech sector and the importance of carefully analyzing individual company performance.
Meta Platforms also saw a positive day, with its shares closing at $516.90, a 1% gain. This marks a second consecutive day of gains for the social media giant, suggesting that investors might be regaining some confidence in the company's future prospects. NVIDIA, on the other hand, saw its stock price close at $107.20, unchanged from the previous day. This follows a day of losses, highlighting the volatility that the chipmaker has been experiencing recently. The performance of these tech giants yesterday paints a mixed picture of investor sentiment. While some companies like Meta are seeing renewed interest, others like Nvidia are still facing uncertainty. This underscores the importance of closely monitoring individual company performance in the ever-evolving tech landscape. Now let's turn our attention to Meta Platforms. The social media giant saw its stock price close at $516.90, a 1% gain. This marks a second consecutive day of gains for Meta, suggesting that investors might be regaining some confidence in the company's future prospects. Despite this recent positive momentum, Meta's stock has experienced some volatility this month, as evidenced by its 0.9% decline in its month-to-date performance. However, zooming out to a wider lens reveals a more optimistic picture, with Meta's year-to-date performance showing a robust 46% gain. This indicates that despite some short-term fluctuations, Meta has demonstrated significant growth over the year. The recent uptick in Meta's stock price, coupled with its impressive year-to-date performance, suggests that investors might be seeing value in the company's long-term growth potential. Moving on to the financial sector, we saw a generally negative performance yesterday. Bank of America closed at $40.10, marking a 0.9% decline and extending its losing streak to three consecutive days. Similarly, JP Morgan experienced a 0.8% dip, closing at $217.60 also marking its third consecutive day of losses. Credit card giants MasterCard and Visa also faced headwinds. MasterCard closed at $477.40, a 1.2% decrease, reversing its previous day's gains. Visa, on the other hand, closed at $278.60, down 0.7%, snapping a four-day winning streak. Morgan Stanley, another major player in the financial sector, wasn't spared either. The company's stock price closed at $99.60, a 0.6% decline, reversing its previous day's gains. Finally, American Express showed a bit of positive movement, closing at $251.80. This represents a marginal 0.04% gain, allowing the company to reverse its three-day losing streak. Overall, yesterday's performance in the financial sector was largely negative, with most major players experiencing losses. This could be indicative of broader economic concerns weighing on investor sentiment. This negative trend was also reflected in Bank of America's five-day performance, which showed a modest gain of 0.5%. However, zooming out to a wider time frame reveals a different picture. Despite the recent dips, Bank of America has recorded a notable 21% increase in its year-to-date performance, indicating resilience and potential for long-term growth. Furthermore, it's worth noting that Bank of America has experienced gains on five out of the last 10 trading days, suggesting that the recent downturn might be a short-term fluctuation rather than a sustained downward trend. Shifting gears to the cryptocurrency market, Bitcoin closed at $56,556.30, a 0.7% increase, effectively reversing the previous day's losses. This suggests that the cryptocurrency market might be stabilizing after a period of volatility.
Dogecoin, on the other hand, closed at 10 cents, a 1.4% decline, snapping two consecutive days of gains. This highlights the volatile nature of Dogecoin and the wider cryptocurrency market. Ethereum also saw positive movement, closing at $2,386.30, a 0.8% gain, reversing the previous day's losses. This suggests that investors might be regaining some confidence in Ethereum's long-term prospects. The performance of these cryptocurrencies yesterday underscores the inherent volatility in the digital asset market. While Bitcoin and Ethereum showed signs of recovery, Dogecoin's decline serves as a reminder of the risks associated with this emerging asset class. Investors should exercise caution and conduct thorough research before making any investment decisions in the cryptocurrency market. Bitcoin, the world's largest cryptocurrency, closed at $56,556.30, a 0.7% increase, effectively reversing the previous day's losses. Despite this recent upswing, Bitcoin's five-day performance shows a decline of 1.3%, reflecting the ongoing volatility in the cryptocurrency market. However, zooming out to a wider time frame reveals a more optimistic picture. Bitcoin has gained on four out of the last 10 trading days and boasts a significant 34% increase in its year-to-date performance. This suggests that despite some short-term fluctuations, Bitcoin remains a potentially lucrative investment for those willing to stomach the volatility.